Um, so next, applets. Um, applets, let me just go back for a second here. Applets, desklets, and extensions. To me, it's kind of uh, confusing having three separate things like that. Maybe it's just because I don't really understand the difference that well uh, well enough to where it makes sense to me. But, um, but if it was up to me, I would probably just put all of these under one thing. Maybe call them all extensions or something uh, because they all seem to perform similar uh, purposes. What these basically all are, applets, desklets, and extensions, they're all different kinds of uh, little, I'll just say little little pieces of software or maybe they're big pieces of software, I don't know. Uh, but you know, they, they basically add additional functionality to Linux Mint, to the desktop environment, to you know, the the Nemo file manager, whatever, whatever they happen to affect. Um, but it's things like, you know, uh, little functions that, that can be added onto, basically. It's like, it, it's you can think of it like adding additional features to, to your system that, you know, that are just kind of built in in a simple way most of the time. Um, and you can see here, there's a bunch that are installed by default that's what these little lock icons here if you hover over it it says this is a system applet it cannot be removed so um, so these are all ones that Linux Mint comes with and is using by default uh, the check usually means that it's uh, currently enabled so uh, so any of these ones that aren't that don't have the check box next to them means that they're not actively in use um, like the group windows list is not in use because I have the other system going that's not the uh, you know that doesn't combine the group the windows into one group and all that um, but uh, you can see there's quite a few installed here notifications uh, power managers printers things like that um, and they all are you know they're all just additional functionality or you know things like that and if you want further ones you can go to this download tab over here and it says sort by popularity so just like with the custom themes these are custom applets that are made by folks um, and some of them can provide you know additional little features and things like that um, I rather I have used this weather one before to good success uh, it adds you know view your local weather you can it adds a little uh, icon down here on the bottom and it'll show you like what the weather is for the day or you know the next five days or whatever you tell it to do um, and it's a nice little handy thing to have I think but um, well, there's all kinds of stuff in here uh, your computer's processor temperature indicator and a radio and you know uh, different system monitors besides the one that you know comes default with mint and you can do a color picker and uh, you know there's all kinds of little sticky notes and things like that there's all kinds of little features and you know um, things that you can do you know if you need a world clock calendar there's one of those too uh, you know <laughs> so yeah there's there's um, quite a few little applets and and um, and personally, I like I said, I don't understand myself why they're not all just in like one single menu, like an extensions menu or something, and then maybe from there broken out into like you know uh, desktop extensions or uh, Nemo file manager extensions or panel extensions or whatever. That would make more sense to me. But um, but as it is, they're they're broken out right now into separate things. But if you would like to experiment with some of those, you can. Um, before I get to the date and time one, let me just go to the desolates and show you that. Um, and let's see, it's a similar thing. Uh, you know, and these were, again are ones that are installed by default. It's a clock, desolate, digital photo frame feature, um, the launcher one, things like that. And again, you can download, okay, well, here's one for Google Calendar integration or, you know, again, a weather desolate or, you know, um, more stuff that you can do in here. Um, there's a cryptocurrency ticker if, if that's your thing. Uh, you know uh, all sorts of little integrations and you know what I would feel like would all make sense under an extensions folder or you know or maybe not folder that was probably not the best uh, word to use at that point but in uh, but an extensions uh, settings section you know and then maybe just broken out into sensible categories there um, but this system settings uh, in the desk list, it has its own set of general settings here so so you can add, change the decoration of them. Uh, you can have them snap to a grid uh, layout on 
the desktop, which by default there is a grid layout. You don't see it visually, but um, but then here you can uh, modify the size of it if you want, and that's if you just want it to, you know, uh, have it be arranged in, a, in an orderly way, you can do that. Otherwise, you can, you know, uncheck that, and then you can just manually put it wherever you want, and you don't have to have it line up to a grid or whatever. Um, and then the same with the extensions, I'll just go in there. Now, right now, there's none in here. Um, by default, but uh, you can get them. I enjoy this one sometimes, the transparent panels. Uh, what that'll do is make it so your bottom panel here can go transparent when there isn't uh, stuff open, and then you can kind of see more of your uh, desktop background image through the um, you know through the panel and I think it makes a nice little effect so I've played with that particular one myself uh, probably a couple more of these in here over time but um, generally you know there these are just other things you can do like uh, change the opacity of your windows or um, you know other functions like scrolling on the desktop part or you know there's little things you can add here that are not uh, by default a part of the functionality but you know users have said hey let's make it so you can do this like add a watermark for some reason on your desktop you can do that with this or, you know uh, so it's all pretty similar uh, applets desklets and extensions they all are pretty similar in the sense that they add functionality to your system and uh, and for the time being at least they are all in their own separate uh, menus which I guess that's fine but you know to me it's a little bit confusing the being able to know the difference between them but it's probably just because I don't use them often enough to really know like oh yeah applets are this and desklets are that you know uh, but because they all just feel like extensions to the Linux Mint uh, operating system to me like it's it's all just features to to in my mind anyway uh, to, but you know whatever that's that's splitting hairs if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn even more you can find my books at books to read.com slash Jonathan that's books the number two read.com slash j-o-n-a-t-h-a-n